that we are going to do is add some parameters for this report. So I want to be able to filter the data in the report as per the options that I select. So every time I do, a, I run, I execute my report, I do not want to see the entire data. I want to be filtering the data in the report. For example, I want the option to be able to choose my product category and then view my data. Okay, so I want a filter on the product category column. So what can we do? We can go back to the design view and then we can create a parameter and you will see that there is an option to create a parameter over here. You can just right click and say add parameter. And you can give your parameter name. Okay, so this is going to be a, par a parameter. So I am going to say par param okay as a naming standard and then let me define the parameter name so this is going to be my product category so let's just just say product category and this is the prompt this is what will be displayed on your report to the business user so this should be a proper textual attribute descriptive uh, prompt so we are going to say just product category this is what the user would understand. Okay, now what is the kind of data that would be entered in this parameter? It would be text, so we can leave it at text. And then we have all these options which we'll explore. What are the available values, default values, and so on. Okay, so for now we have just created this parameter and we'll say okay. And you'll see that this has that there is now this parameter that we just created has come inside the parameters folder. Now what is expect on our report? Let's go back to the preview. And now you'll see that there's something called the product category over here. And I have the option to type something because we described it as a textual column. So I can say bikes. And if I do a view report, you'll see that nothing has actually happened though I've written a value over here. And why is that? It is because we have not yet associated it with the data set that provides the data for this report. So we need to perform one more step. So go back to the design view. And then go back to your data set, which provides the main data for your report. Right click and go to data set properties. Go to the filters over here and add a filter. Now, what is your filter going to be? My filter is going to be that my product category. Now, my product category is nothing but my English product category name equals the value in the parameter. So how can you define that? You can click on this expression toolbox. Just click over here. And then you have to provide your parameter name. Now, if you can see within the categories, you have an option for the parameters. And then you can see your parameter name over here. So just double click on it. And it will take your parameter name. So this is the syntax for taking it. You just need to double click on it and it will do that automatically. Just say OK. And now you can see that you have added a filter to your report to the data set that provides the data to your report where it would try to match the English product category name to the value that is provided in the parameter. So let's say OK and go back to the preview. And now let's provide the value as bikes and do a view report. And now you have got the data which is only uh, related to your product category of bikes as we wanted. Okay. Now the next thing to do is, uh, I want to be able to keep it as blank. So if I just do not enter anything and do a view report, okay, I get an error message saying that please enter a value for the parameter product category. The parameter cannot be blank. So I want the option that I get, if I leave it as blank or I just keep it as null. I want to see all the data in this report. So what we need to do, go back to design, open up parameter, and choose these options. Allow blank value. 
and allow null value. Okay, say okay. Go back to the preview. And now you can see the null is selected. Okay, and no data is displayed. If I uncheck the null and keep it as blank and try to view the data, I again have none, no data that is selected. Okay, and why is that? Again, because we have to make the change to a data set query. So go back to the data set, right click, go to your data set properties, and now the filter that we have added says that the product category name is equal to product category. Now there's no product category name which is equal to null or blank and that is why we haven't got anything over there. So what we need to do now is go back to our main query and make a change right over here. So this is a query, select your fields from your tables, different tables and you have performed the joins on that. And then you will be saying, you'll be adding a where clause to put your filter condition. Where, all right, so what do we want? We want the product category name. So this is the dim product category. Where dim product category name is equal to your parameter name. So add and add param product category. Or we want to leave it as null. So just put this within the brackets because we have multiple conditions. Or the product category value is null. Now we can go to the filters tab, select the filter. And delete it and say okay now go back to the parameter and let's not allow the blank value because there's nothing like a blank value for a product category name now let's do a preview was trying to show you basically was that if we can we can add that option that if we select null we should be able to view the entire data of the report Okay, so now null is selected and we are able to see the entire data in the report. If we deselect null, then we would have to type a particular category name like clothing and then do a view report and we'll get data only for the clothing option. All right, so now we have added that option to make this as to include the null value as well and this. 